On today's menu, we're making Swedish meatballs. In a big ass bowl, we're gonna combine breadcrumbs, cow milk, heavy whipping cream, one singular egg, a little bit of garlic, pepper, salt, and finally, all purpose seasoning, which I have never used before in my life. Anyways, give that a good mix and let it vibe out for about 10 minutes while we cut an onion. What we want is really small, fine pieces, okay? Toss them in there along with some parsley. And lastly, but not the leastly, we're gonna add ground beef and pork. My store only had 95% fat free pork, which I would not recommend because it tastes like a Timberland boot. Anyways, mix everything together and we're gonna take our meat mixture and roll it into the size of a golf ball. Moving on, get yourself a pan on high heat, throw in some olive oil and a little bit of butter and we're just gonna basically brown our meatballs on all sides, okay? I mean, just look at that crust. Yes! Once you're ready to eat, throw it onto a plate and you can eat it plain or you can serve it with some gravy and then add some burst. I had to make this because I miss going to Ikea eating the meatballs and buying furniture that would eventually break in a few months. <laughs> I miss on today's menu, we're making ice cream crepes. All you really need is the batter, which is a combination of flour, eggs, a little bit of vegetable oil, almond milk, a little yeah. of salt. And to really spice things up and bring in that flavor, we're gonna add some vanilla extract. Give that a really good mix, and now it's time to cook, okay? Get yourself a small pan on low heat, and we're just gonna straight butter the surface area. And from that point, take a ladle full of batter, just pour it in the pan, you know? Really simple stuff, you know, from a professional standpoint. The best advice I can give you, honestly, is to fill the bottom of the pan with batter at one time mm. check up on it and once you get a nice brown like this we're basically gonna flip it over onto a plate let's go my first crepe now from this point you can really just do whatever you want i'm just gonna fill mine up with some nutella bananas and that's how you make the ugliest crepe i've ever seen in my goddamn life okay hideous we're just gonna fix that by adding powdered sugar strawberries chocolate syrup and vanilla ice cream let's go this is hands down my favorite dessert in the entire world perfect for this weather okay because it is getting very hot i don't even have an ac <laughs> First things first, we're gonna get ourselves some chicken thighs and pound them very thin. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, perfect. Moving on, we're gonna set up a three bowl breading station, okay? The first bowl being flour, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, a little nyeh of salt. Bowl number two will have one singular egg and a hot sauce of your choice. It can be tapatio. Is that a helicopter? Anyways, the last bowl is just gonna be some panko breadcrumbs. And really, the only thing that's left to do is to bread our chicken. And make sure you do a good job, okay? The last thing you want is a chicken katsu with a bald spot. Let the chicken vibe on the side while we heat up some oil in a pan. And just fry the chicken for three to four minutes on each side. Or until the internal temperature of the chicken reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit, toast up a couple buttered brioche breads. And you're supposed to spread some mayo on it, but I did not have any, so I'm just using fry sauce instead. Assemble your sandwich and just cut off the crust so that the sandwich can look nice and pretty. Ooh, add some parsley. Okay, now you guys might call this sandwich ugly, but she is very beautiful to me. On another note, can somebody tell me how to stop allergies? Because this shit is whooping my ass. According to today's menu, we're making elote. The first thing that you want to do is to get yourself some corn. I opened it and I realized that somebody cut off the tip of my corn? Why would you cut the corn? I like it when it's pointy. Anyways, we're going to remove the husk and the little hairs until the corn is nice and clean like this. Give them a little wash and we're going to throw them into some boiling water. I think for like five minutes. And corn cooks really fast, so once they're done, take it out. And just wait for them to cool down, okay? Once they're cool, we're going to take some two-go chopsticks and just yeah, take out all of your frustrations out on the corn, all right? Stab it! Moving on. We're gonna brush our corn with some butter as well as some mayonnaise and remember to put a lot Okay, this is not the right time to be shot finish it off with some cotija cheese and that's pretty much it Now this is pretty much the most basic version. All right I like this one, but you can add like chili powder or tapatio the best way is to eat it with a lot of ketchup Ah, uh, hell no. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe add some more cheese some lime cilantro It really is up to you. All I know is tengo elote muy delicioso Esta chinito habla espanol muy bien. Si o si. Ajá on today's menu, we're making a Philly cheesesteak. The first thing that we're gonna do is get ourselves some ribeye steak. And we're gonna cut that into slices, okay? Very thin, like this. Moving on, slice up one yellow onion. Now, ever since I was a young little boy, I always wondered, who eats raw onion? Ugh. You can literally caramelize it with salt, oil, and on low heat. For example, like this. Now, this process will take very long, up to one hour. We're gonna multitask and work on our bread, okay? Soften butter with a little bit of garlic. And just spread that all over a hoagie roll. Or whichever roll of bread that you have. We're gonna toast it up on a pan. Ooh, okay, back to our onions. Once they're caramelized, take it out. And now it's time to work on our steak, which we're gonna cook on a very high heat. Look at all that seasoning. Mmm. JK, we're gonna season it with salt and pepper. We're literally doing the bare minimum on the seasoning today. Throw in our onions and then top it off with some provolone circle cheese. Boom, straight into our toasted buns. And the most important ingredient, parsley. By the way, has anyone heard of the murder hornets? What? Come on. I just hope they don't get my ex that lives at 123 Main Street on the second floor, third building.
You're telling me the fair is canceled this year? I mean, I wasn't gonna go anyways, but I want some deep red Oreos. You know what? Let's just make them. Okay, now in a big ass bowl, we're gonna combine flour, sugar, baking powder, and a little bit of salt. Mix that up, and now we're gonna add our wet ingredients, okay? A little bit of almond milk, one singular egg, and a touch of veggie table oil. And that is how you make pancake mix from scratch, okay? We're missing one key ingredient though, all right? And that's some Oreos. Once you have your cookie and pancake mix, it's time to go. Take your cookie and dunk it into the batter, and then throw it straight into the hot oil. Bloop. Also, these cook hella fast, about two minutes or until they're golden brown like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, take them out let them vibe on the side for a little bit and repeat for how many cookies that you want to eat i mean look at all these oreos you literally have enough to eat until you pass out plate it add some parsley and that is pretty much it <laughs> Okay, but what I did though was I ate these while listening to sounds of roller coasters and no joke It actually felt like I was at the fair. This is DIY virtual reality on today's menu, we're making vegan cauliflower barbecue wings. We're gonna get ourselves some cauliflower and turn them into bite-sized pieces like this. Let them just vibe on the side while we set up a two-bowl breading a two-bowl breading station. The first bowl is going to be our batter, okay? Water, flour, onion powder, garlic powder, and a stack of salt. Mix that until it's very smooth. And in our second bowl, we're just gonna throw in some breadcrumbs. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All that's really left to do is to bread it and put it into a baking tray with parchment paper. You can't tell me that one. Wasn't sick. Throw them into the oven at 450 degrees for 25 minutes. And don't forget to flip it halfway through, okay? Take it out and we're gonna cover each cauliflower with some barbecue sauce. Apparently, this one's vegan, alright? But do your own research. The last thing you want is a guy on the internet to ruin your 18-year vegan streak, okay? I'm not responsible. Bake them for another 15 minutes. Plate it, add some parsley. I always hear people say that cauliflower wings taste just like chicken. And I would just be like, damn, your taste buds are that damaged? <laughs> but after trying it for myself, it kind of tastes like chicken. Like 50%. On today's menu, we're making pierogies. Is that how you even pronounce it? Anyways, we're gonna start off by making a dough, which is basically just flour, salt, melted butter, one singular egg, and some Greek yogurt. You want to combine those ingredients in a big ass bowl and mix it until it looks like this. And we're just gonna let our dough relax on the side while we work on our filling. A few potatoes that I riced up, a touch of butter, sour cream, cheddar cheese, and a little bit of pepper. And that's pretty much it. All that's left to do, is that a fucking bird? Anyways, it's now time to roll out our dough, okay? Now, what we're looking for here is about one eighth of an inch thickness, I think. Cut out a piece of it and throw the filling into the middle. Fold it into a moon shape like this. Let's go, my first pierogi! Rinse and repeat. And we're just gonna cook these in some salted boiling water. Once they float to the top, we're gonna take them out and quickly saute them in some butter because we want that color. Ooh! Plate it, eat it with whatever you want. Okay, your life, your choice, but don't forget the parsley! In other news, have you guys heard? Jeff Bezos is a trillionaire. What? All I have to say is welcome to the club. On today's menu, we're making chicken wings in an air-free air. Start off with one whole chicken wing and we're gonna separate it like that. Yeah. Or you can just buy them pre-cut, toss them into a big ass bowl, and we're just gonna drizzle the smallest amount of avocado oil in there. What we're looking for here is basically a good amount of lubrication on the outside, and we're just gonna season it with garlic salt and lemon pepper seasoning. By the way, this is not my recipe, so do not come at me. And for absolutely no reason at all, I will be adding garlic powder because I just added to everything. Okay, I don't even know why. Once your chicken wings are seasoned, we're gonna get the air fryer that I got for 40% off. Let's go, baby! Listen, if your air fryer does not have at least a six quart capacity, you're a little kid to me i'll kiss you on your forehead Mwah! load up your air fryer and we're just gonna cook it at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes i kind of like my wings burnt so i did 25 oh yeah and do not forget to flip it halfway through after 25 minutes we came out with this what parsley and that's pretty much it listen i'm a proud owner of an air fryer with a six quart capacity at only the age of 21 what this is what success looks like on today's menu, I attempt to make Rice Krispie Treats. And it is not the special kind, okay? The last time I ate one of those, I slept at nighttime. And when I woke up, it was still nighttime because I slept for 20 hours. <laughs> I'm still traumatized. Anyways, we're gonna start off by melting some butter and marshmallows until it looks like this. Take it off the stove and add a little bit of salt and vanilla extract. Mix it until combined. And now it's time to add our cereal. I'm using Fruity Pebbles and a bootleg Rice Krispie cereal. Feel free to use any cereal that you want, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Literally any cereal besides raisin bran anyways mix in your cereal and add in some marshmallows remember to mix it very slowly unless you want your treats to have the consistency of a brick once everything is mixed in we're gonna transfer it onto a baking tray like so and all we have to do now is let it vibe in the refrigerator for one hour take it out and cut it into rectangle or squares and let's go it does not look healthy at all i mean seriously it's just a lot of fat a lot of sugar this is something that we have to think about i didn't say you can't eat it just think about it and then eat it <laughs> 
We have not made Asian food in a while. So today we're gonna make some wonton soup. In a big ass bowl, we're gonna combine some minced shrimp, garlic, and green onions. And we're just gonna season that with soy sauce, sesame oil, oyster sauce, some grated ginger, and chill. Pause. Give that a really good mix, and that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. Now it's time to wrap them. Boom, circular dumpling wrappers. A little bit of that shrimp gets put right in the middle. Fold it into a half moon shape, then connect the ends. And yeah, that's basically how I wrapped it. Ooh, oh yeah. My own mother was talking shit about my wrapping skills so she took over anyways once you're done wrapping we are gonna start on our soup in a big ass pot saute some garlic and ginger until it's fragrant and then proceed to add chicken broth and water once our broth achieves a boil we're gonna throw in our veggies a little bit of miso paste and for the finale toss in the wontons the thing is the recipe says to cook for two minutes huh two minutes i'm cooking it for 10 you can do whatever you want though just add parsley i know you guys have heard about the george floyd case so please help out in whichever way that you can This week has been very emotional, tense, a lot of adjectives, okay? So I thought, let's make a breakfast sandwich together. Yes. We're gonna kick things off by making some bacon. Once it's done, transfer it onto a paper towel. We're gonna proceed to toast our bagels in that bacon fat and butter. Once it looks like this, take it out and huh? It is not burnt, okay? I think it's the lighting in my kitchen that makes it look. Moving on, we're gonna get started to work on our eggs. A little bit of butter in. Crack in not one, but two eggs. And once the egg white settles, we're gonna pop the yolk. I hate yolk because it looks like it would tastes like sunny d but it doesn't that shit is disgusting anyways we're gonna throw on some american cheese cover it to help it melt faster and that's pretty much it this cooking shit is easy assemble your sandwich how you like it okay throw it onto a plate but most importantly add some parsley Bro, I never knew that I would miss saying a word so much. By the way, I heard they sell these in New York for 350. Huh? How do they make money? Chocolate! Crinkle cookies. That's what we're making today. In a gigantic bowl, get yourself some flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and a little bit of salt. Give that a mix and let it vibe on the side while we work on our wet ingredients. One stick of butter that's supposed to be softened, but I don't have that type of time, so I just microwaved it. Add in your white and brown sugar and mix it until it kind of looks like a frappuccino. Bloop, bloop. Two eggs, some vanilla extract, and at this point, we are gonna combine our two bowls together. When it's all said and done, you should get something that looks like this. Wait, why the fuck did I... <laughs> don't forget to give it a little taste for quality control. Anyways, I just refrigerated the dough and I came back whenever I was craving cookies, aka nighttime for some reason. Take your dough and roll it into a golf ball size like so. And then coat the outsides in regular sugar and then powdered sugar. Ooh, I mean, talk about a good way to get diabetes. Proceed to bake the cookies for about 11 minutes and that's pretty much it. This baking shit is easy. Did you guys hear that Spongebob just came out? When I saw that tweet, I was like, I fucking knew it, dude. Oh yeah, back to the cookies. 10 out of 10, really good. Have you guys ever seen mukbangers eat that stretchy cheese? Because whenever I see that, I'm always like, <laughs> the things that I would do just for one bite. So today, we're gonna try to make it. We're gonna start off by peeling some Yukon gold potatoes and cut them into small chunks so that they can cook a lot faster. Let them vibe in a small pot and pour enough cold water to cover them completely, along with a lot of kosher salt. Once it reaches a boil, we're gonna lower the heat and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Drain out the water and using a potato ricer, we're gonna squish the potatoes back into the pot. Ooh, this reminds me of pimple Popping. Now throw in your garlic, butter, heavy whipping cream, along with about half of your Gruyere and mozzarella cheese. You want to mix it until your cheese completely melts. And once that happens, throw in the rest of your cheese and keep mixing. Wait for it. Huh? Now it might look a little bit chunky, but that's actually the lighting and reflection in my- Add some parsley! I ate this with some Korean fried chicken and it was actually insane. Oh yeah, don't forget to get your dad or your single mom a Father's Day gift and make it meaningful too. For example, I got my dad a subscription to a premium snack. Wait, huh? On today's menu, we're making a healthy Cajun shrimp dinner. First off, get yourself some jumbo shrimp that's already depoopified like this. We're gonna take that and combine it with your favorite Creole seasoning. Give it a good mix and let it vibe on the side. And now it is time to cut our vegetables. I don't think it matters what kind of vegetables you use, but today I'm using a zucchini, a squash which I've never had before in my entire life, and lastly, one red bell pepper. My doctor said that if I eat vegetables, I can grow like two more inches. Like what? Why would I even need that? I'm already 6'5". Anyways, throw in some Cajun sausage into the mix along with some olive oil and salt and give it one last thorough mix before transferring it to an air fryer compartment like this okay cool throw into the air fryer at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes shake it halfway through and ooh, plate it and add some parsley this is shrimp a la cajun paired together with a truffle hot sauce with an assortment of hand-picked vegetables from our garden <laughs> I'm done bro I'm done I'm done on tonight's time I'll catch you guys later peace
down, yeah I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why